It's opening night. No more talk. Let's play some games at count, Brent. Everybody in playoff contention, B.A., so super excited. One of the best nights of the year. Awesome to be here and awesome for all NBA fans. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. On it, Kumpo. Bam! He didn't need to fade back. No one in his face, but he buried it anyway. Outside Garland. Allen a screen. Garland with the ball. And Lopez picks him up. And Allen gets it to go on the assist by Garland. Yeah, you saw Allen do a great job of just placing himself in that pick and roll, and he's right where he's supposed to be. The ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Garland. Pass to Okoro. Back to Garland. Mobley a screen on Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Garland, no good. Mobley against Honor Kumpo. Lopez, the screen on Mobley. Here's Honor Kumpo. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And already Giannis has a regular season MVP, a finals MVP, plus a defensive player of the year award winning all three trophies by the age of 26. Excellent. The first free throw is good. For Ana de Kumpo, you can also throw in an all-star MVP. Brent, that puts him in elite company. Well, thanks, B.A. I did forget that one, and that's a major one, too. But the Greek freak, just the second player ever to win those four awards. The first, of course, MJ. It just tells you Giannis is already an all-time great. So Honor to Kumpo nails both of them. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul Jabbar as the Bucks' all time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Allen with a screen on Allen. Mitchell with the ball, and Lopez picks him up. Here's Allen. Basket counts. Allen's got his second basket of the game. And getting a great look for the big guy as Allen scores on the interior. Lopez, the screen. Shot from 12. The shot won't fall. The Cavaliers go the other way with it. The grab both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. Yep, count it. Pretty interesting adjustment from Garland on that attempt. Garland against Holiday. Lopez, the screen on Garland. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Here's Bochamp from behind the arc. Buries it from three. Well, that Greek freak nickname is, is apropos. I mean, he can handle it, he can pass it. The combination of size and athleticism. What a talent. Here's the Kuro. On the take. Oh, they get a hand on it. Lays out, and the ball out of play. The Bucks will have it. And with a pause in the action, here we have the best rebounding teams from last year. Milwaukee, second. And they were so awesome last year on the boards, blocking out, maintaining position, and finishing off possessions with the rebound. They are physical, and that effort afforded them a ton of extra possessions. Now here's Holiday. Lopez, the screen on Garland. Who poked away. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Mitchell. Such a terrific two-way guy. Drew Holiday isn't just an offensive powerhouse. He loves to play defense. I mean, loves it.
First free throw is good. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. And that's good as he hits both shots. And after a few seasons of anemic offense, the Cavs have finally started to turn things around. Yes, they have. And they made a big step forward. Now, there's a nice balance to their offense. Now here's Allen. Turned in an outstanding game against Utah. Pass to Mitchell. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. In transition. Here come the Bucks. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Yeah, don't let Giannis get a step on you. His one step counts for three sometimes, and he's gone. Back to Garland to halt the run. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Milwaukee in the lead. Adetokounmpo finds Allen. Holiday with the ball. Adetokounmpo inside. Checked by Mitchell. And Giannis with the dunk. This is when the defense really gets disrupted by Giannis being physical, and then he gets up in the air to rub it in with the jam. Here's Mitchell. Nice D from Allen. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. Fires for three. And the box hit again from deep. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Timeout called the Cavaliers. chance here to check out some stats for Karis LeVert. And he's taken a small step back offensively. He really hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier on. He's lacking the intensity he had. He needs a new mindset and stop being passive and play with more aggressiveness. Here's Mitchell. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Pass to Okoro. Looking to end the drought. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. For Milwaukee, they've gone five of six. They're rolling. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls for him already. If he's not more careful, his minutes will be curtailed. Love is checked in for Cleveland. Holiday against Garland. With a step back. Cavaliers with a rebound. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. They pen that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. As impressive as the numbers were for Mobley as a rookie, the consistency stood out the most, Grant. Yeah, no question, B.A. Mobley shows up and makes an impact every night. He just finds Take ways to help Take the team break. even when the shots Two aren't shots. there. He's the type of player that fits with any system. That free throw misses. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that 
<laughs> and Giannis. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. Now here's Holiday. He played a great game against New Orleans. For three, Allen. Oh, he missed it, making him one for two now. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Mobley passes to Mitchell. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy. And we see that in the way they get after it on defense. Cleveland calls timeout. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now. Just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. Connaughton, he's checked in for the Bucks. Love finds Mitchell. There's a screen by Love. Off the mark, and the drought continues. The Bucks have gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. Kumpo with it. He's picked up by Garland. Connaughton outside. There's the triple. Mobley grabs the board. The Cavs have gone only three for nine from the floor. Garland, the pass to Love. Pass to Okoro. The three from Mitchell. And he's now one for four after that one. Okoro showing his ability to find an open teammate. Here's Bochamp. Connaughton outside. Anadokounmpo, right side. Over Mobley. Anadokounmpo can't connect. The Cavaliers have gone 4 of 10, shooting the rock in this first quarter. Love passes to Garland. To the wing, right side. Connaughton against Love. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. And yeah, Love can hurt you down there. He uses his body as a shield, creates the space, got in tight, finished that one off. Now here's Ana Kumpo. Give him eight points now. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Well, we're in the era of the three-point basket. So if you want to win games in this league, you have to connect from deep. And they have been thus far. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists. It's a nice way to play. Well, Brent, for this Milwaukee organization, how big was keeping Giannis? Well, B.A., could you just give me another synonym for massive? I'll take all of them. Because obviously, it is all about Giannis. And the title in 2021 helped big time to keep him in Milwaukee but imagine if they lost him and went back to square one you just don't replace guys who are this special I like seeing love work that in between area he's got a great understanding of when it is that he's going to have the room to fire outside Carter here's Portis and the shots good and the Bucks lead by 11 getting out to a nice lead great flow and great execution Connaughton against Levert. Back to Love. Pass to Levert. And the call will be against Bobby Portis. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Neto. He's checked by Carter. Mobley on a screen. Osman. And they just haven't found the range. Offline with a three. 
They've been just a little bit better on the glass so far, showing their tremendous work ethic. Switch, 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 switch. Here's Ana de Kumpo. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard and look at last season's top scoring squads. In the third spot, the Bucks. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. First one falls for him. And here in the first, they really are hitting their free throws. So Anadokounmpo nails both of them. And the game is growing by leaps and bounds globally. How does the league continue to ride that way? Well, I'll tell you, B.A., it's not hurting that you have an MVP that comes from Europe. I mean, Nikola Jokic bringing a lot of tension back to the league with his dominant play over here. But Commissioner Silver continues to explore all the corners in which he can continue to introduce the game, introduce the entertainment, and introduce the community aspect of what being a partner with the NBA is all about. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh my, oh my, and that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. And just refusing to give up second chance points. Excellent defensive rebounding. Pass to Portis. Perfect night so far, two for two. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Now here's Ana de Kumpo. 13 points in the game. Levert with the ball. And Connaughton picks him up defensively. There's a screen by Love. And here's Levert for three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Pass to Ana de Kumpo. Oh yes. my goodness! I did wow. not know he could get up like that. I think Giannis loves that kind of stuff right there. His dunks sometimes get vicious. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Love finds Levert. And stolen by Connaughton. Here we go. Out to the right wing. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Carter. Now that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another. Not on the same page. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting only 35% so far in this quarter. Levert outside. Love against Portis. To stop the run. The shot by Levert. No good. Well, he's just really struggling right now and with everything he's throwing up. Nothing really helping out in terms of his confidence. I mean, these ones aren't even close. Anadokupo can't connect. No question who's in control of the board so far. Out of the Kumpo against Love. 54 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And here's Levert for three. Can't hit that one. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. If this quarter is any indication, he's not going to be the guy to turn this game around in their favor. Portis with a screen on Love. Here's out of the Kumpo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Adana Kumpo has got 17. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. 
Oh, nice ball movement by Levert. A welcome sign for this team. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And he makes the first. When you think about it, they're trailing in part because they're giving away too many trips to the charity strike. Misses. The perennial MVP candidate continues to thrive, and it's Giannis's work ethic that has separated him from most. Here's Neto looking for his first basket still in this one. To the middle. Here's Love. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on Bobby Portis. Kevin Love getting a little clever out there. Fantastic to get the D to bite on that pump fake. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Love. Well, for a big guy, Kevin Love is certainly one of the best free throw shooters in the game, and you don't want to send him to the line. And Love drops them both. He's making the most of every trip to the line, providing for his team. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for the Bucs. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. We'll be back in a moment. If you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And for the Bucks here, they've been putting on a show, guys. Well, we've watched them force their way to the line, and it seems to be... ...working so far. Such a great way to silence hostile fans who want the up and down pace that gets them amped up. Instead, everyone's just standing around watching the free throw game. Here's Mitchell. They've got a Kuro. Darius Garland is out there with Donovan Mitchell. Then there's Jetty Osman, and it's Allen in at the five. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Here's a Kuro. Pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. That's a great finish from J.A. A high percentage look inside from a very high percentage shooter. Holiday is screen on Allen. Ingles from outside. The rebound by Allen. The Cavaliers shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Outside Mitchell. It's another three for Cleveland. It's just a sign of an elite scorer like Mitchell. 
When he receives the pass, he's looking to let it fly. When you look at the age of Jared Allen, the way he's developed, he could be a top five center in the league very soon. Fantastic impact on the court he has. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. And it's Mitchell, the miss. Milwaukee has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. And Allen has the defense and finishing that you want from the center spot, Grant. Yeah, B.A., Allen can switch on the guards with ease. Great lateral movement and contest very well. Having a center that can do that is huge for a team. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Cavaliers have surprised many with their ascension. Coach Bickerstaff said they had to be really patient through some difficult times, but his star center, Jared Allen, said, quote, no matter who's in front of us, big or small, we're going to go out there and fight till the end. Brian? Yeah, that's what got him here, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Allen. Six points for him. Outside Garland. Back to Allen. Shot clock at five. No good. A bit long that time. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Garland against Holiday. Here's Lopez. They shoot again. And the layup is up and in. And the Bucks lead by 12. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pass to Allen. Now here's Garland. Mitchell with the ball. Ingles covering. The three from Okoro. That one's good. Mitchell making the play. Okoro's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Outside, Ingles. Connaughton outside. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Holiday against Garland. The three is up. On the wing, Mitchell. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. This defense gets a lot scarier when Lopez is blocking shots. Takes one from 10 feet. The Cavaliers pull it in. Closing it on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Back to Allen. Pass to Garland. And he lobs it up to the rim. Rejected by Lopez. Outside Holiday. It's stolen by Garland. Here's Okoro. He's covered by Holiday. Back to Okoro. Garland against Ingles. That one's good. Garland for three. Garland's got his second bucket on the night. And the defense looked a little bit confused on that play as Garland moved nicely. Holiday passes to Lopez. Ooh, stolen by Allen. To the inside. Oh, deflected. And stolen by Connaughton. Portis outside. Pass to Holiday. Shot to end the cold streak. And it's Portis. That time on the assist from Holiday. Portis has got seven. And Portis got that shot off really quick. And here's Mitchell. And he lays it up and in. He's got 10. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Holiday passes to Lopez. That one is off. Great D that time from Allen. It hasn't been his best quarter. I mean, he's trying to shoot himself out of the slump. Outside Mitchell. Garland with a screen on Carleton. And it's Mitchell. The miss. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. I give a ton of credit to the Bucks front office. Beyond trading for Holiday and, of course, re-signing Giannis. You love how they filled in 
with those guys around that star power. To leave a guy like that wide open from range, big mix up. Now here's Garland. He's got five. No good from outside. Well, Brent seems like every year the Bucks have to replace a key rotation player. Yeah, and tricky because they don't have the financial wherewithal to spend a ton of money with the contracts that have been given out. So it's about the right fit, the right personnel, and I think front office and coaching staff do a great job of identifying who those players are. Mobley, he's checked in for Cleveland. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Anadokounmpo's checked in. Holiday up top, guarded by Garland. And here's Connaughton for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds now for Cleveland. They've gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Mitchell's got 13. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? Anadokounmpo finds Ingles. Mobley against Anadokounmpo. Five to shoot. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. And more and more the confidence of Giannis to be one of those go-to scorers. We're seeing those signs. Garland for three. It's another three for Cleveland. Yeah, he couldn't connect on anything from outside in the first quarter, but now he's at two threes in the second quarter, and he looks much better. Now here's Anadokounmpo. The shot by Holiday, no good. And here's Garland. Give him eight points now. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And Darius Garland has proven he's a franchise player, Grant. And the upside is still there for him. Oh, wow. He could be one of the best guards in the league when he hits his prime. He gives you everything you want from a point guard. This team was patient with him, and it paid off. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And the league has redefined the rules a bit regarding the gather step. Players getting more leeway. What do you think about that? Well, I think guys B.A. are getting a little more creative in practicing that. I and mean, they, they will adjust to the rule. That is one thing we've seen through the years with NBA players. And so in the offseason, if you can find a way to take advantage of a half a step more in order to gain advantage on a defender, I'm all for it until they change the rule back. Screen by Kumpo. Pass to Matthews. Honor to Kumpo outside. And here's Portis. Good. And Honor to Kumpo gets the assist. Honor to Kumpo has got three assists in the game. Timeout called the Cavaliers. You look at Giannis Honor to Kumpo. What a contribution. And they simply have no answer right now for what he's doing to them. He is making them pay. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Neto's checked in. A quick break, and we look at our 2K leaderboard for three-point shooting last season. Number five, Milwaukee. That kind of efficiency from range is generally an indicator of a dominant offense. <laughs> Mobley passes to Levert. Let's it go from 14. That one doesn't drop. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Pass to Carter. Out to Portis. All sorts of time. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Now it's a seven point Milwaukee lead. Their success from mid range has really set them apart today. Levert passes to Love. Good setup. 
Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Love's got eight. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Carter inside. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. Pass to Matthews. Carter on the wing. Off target from three-point range. Well, Cleveland shooting 56% for the second quarter. Outside Mitchell. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. And now just a three-point Milwaukee lead. You love to see Mitchell explode like this on offense. A guy who has so much potential as an elite scorer. get the first one Sinks the second. The Cavs trailing. Levert outside. There's a screen by Love. Three-pointer. And out of bounds. Milwaukee will have it. Hurts to see that kind of mistake. Coach is going to be on him about that one. And for the Bucks, they're shooting just around 39% in the second quarter. Portis with a screen on Mobley. On to Kumpo with it. And that's Love picking him up defensively. Pass to Carter. Launches a three. The offensive rebound. On to Kumpo. That's good. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. And here's Love. Defended by Portis. With the 10-footer. And the Cavaliers get another bucket right there. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. Antetokounmpo against Mobley. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. This is what makes Giannis such an elite player. His ability to score in those difficult situations down low with lots of bodies around. Pass to Levert. There's a screen by Love. From deep, Mitchell. And the Cavaliers, another three. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Now here's Anadokounmpo. Another miss by Anadokounmpo. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. the shot counts. He's fouled and it's a chance for a three-point play. Falls for Ana de Kumpo. In the first quarter, he did a great job getting to the line, but he's been a little less physical as the game's gone on. Outside love. On the wing, Mitchell. He's got 18. And the Cavaliers, another. 
another three. <laughs> That's great court awareness. Mitchell's just reliable at noticing when his guys are uncovered. Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Portis. Honor to Kumpo, outside. From the right block, and he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to be Evan Mobley. Falls for Honor to Kumpo. A different look for Cleveland. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Evan Mobley, and it's Osman in for Neto. Kumpo nails both of them. 23 seconds left in the first half of this game. Outside Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Carter. The three from Mitchell. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. Giannis Antetokounmpo has been on display for Milwaukee. He made a big impact, scoring 12 points in the quarter. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks. I'm here with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Coach, how would you characterize the intensity level in that first half? Yeah, no, it's pretty intense. You know, both teams are getting after it defensively. Nothing's going to be easy, so it's the way it's supposed to be. Hopefully it continues in the second half. Thanks. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Greetings, everybody. The story so far revolving around Giannis, the Greek freak, in fine form tonight. Feels like he's tracking down every missed shot. Straight up, he's outworking the guy across from him. Fantastic effort. And if you're the other team, you have to get a body on him. Box him out, man. And let's switch gears for a second, checking out social media. So here's one for Shaq from Dunkmaster J. Shaq, is it true you're the league's all-time MHP? I'm not even sure what that means. Any uh, ideas? Duh, Ernie. Uh, Ernie, it means most handsome player. And I am. That's true. In fact, that's a great question. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How could you know that? Maybe it's the most hairless player or the most hungry player. I got a backup Kenny on this one. It could be the most hilarious for all that we know. That seems more fitting to me. Ha ha, very funny. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. 
Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The Cavs trailing. So on the floor for Milwaukee, Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Holiday and Allen are at guard for him. The three from Mitchell. Rebound, Milwaukee. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now, you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core. Could be a game. this roster even with all they gave up to get him now here's Allen and that one's good Donovan Mitchell for three Mitchell's got 21 man they're having a hard time defending the triple that's three in a row holiday against Garland pass to Anadokounmpo shoot from the baseline and the shot is good on the assist by holiday Holiday's got his third assist of the night. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Here's Osman. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's on Brooke Lopez. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. That one misses. Evan Mobley, he's checked in for Mitchell. Good on the second one. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Mobley against Anadokounmpo. Pass to Lopez. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Lopez has got six. More points coming from inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Here's Okoro. And he banks in the layup. Okoro's got the second bucket. And Okoro can make some really difficult finishes. Holiday against Garland. Anadokounmpo, right side. Unable to get that one. Good D by Mobley. Cleveland has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Pass to Okoro. Allen a screen. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Out of Kumpo, the pass to Holiday. Back to Out of Kumpo. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Out of Kumpo has got four points in the quarter. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Back to Osman. The three. Holiday grabs the miss. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Allen on the wing. Misses the three. 
for Cleveland. They've gone two of five in this third quarter. Garland with the ball. Picked up by Allen. From 11 feet away. Garland no good. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Allen. From downtown. Sinks it from distance. He's got nine. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. Garland softly drops in the floater. Pretty silky smooth floater from Garland that time. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. Garland against Holiday. Down low. Here's Ana de Kumpo, and that one's long. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Pass to Bochan. Doesn't go for him, and it's Cleveland the other way. Outside Garland. Here's the Kuro. Back to Garland. Six to shoot. They puts up a three. The rebound by the Bucks. Honor Kupo's got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Pass to Allen. Now here's Honor to Kumpo. Soft touch off the glass. Honor Kupo's got 36 points. And that's some determination there from Atentacumbo, able to bully his way through the defenders multiple that time while shooting the ball. And Mobley throws it down. The pass, the catch, the slam. What a clean play. Man, absolutely jaw-dropping. Anadokounmpo with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Outside Holiday. Allen on the wing. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. The much-traveled Grayson Allen finally starting to settle into a role, Brent. It's always been about that shooting feel for him and the five-star prospect coming out of high school, of course, going to a Blue Blood University. For him, it's about just controlling some of that emotional content. First one falls. The Bucks making a switch here. Both good from the line that time. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Trailing by eight. Pass to Garland. Osman on the wing. The three-pointer off the mark. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Garland against Holiday. Connaughton outside. Takes the three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got seven rebounds in the game. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Knocked loose. And stolen by Connaughton. On the wing, Connaughton. Pass to Ingles. Just five on the clock. Now Holiday drives to the hoop. And the reliability of what Drew Holiday brings to the hardwood, it's about that menacing defense night after night with great hands and great instinct. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. You have to be a fan of the energy they played with on the defensive end. Active hands and feet and it's come up big a few Take times break. for them. Well, something else that has stood out is their up-tempo offense. I mean, these guys have been on the track all game long. They're creating high-percentage looks 
getting out there on the fast break. That's good from Holiday. Karis LeVert's checked in for the Cavaliers. Portis, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Holiday hits them both. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Pass to Okoro. Mobley on a screen. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Well, Brent, after years of being an elite defender, Holiday is finally getting the recognition he deserves. And the best part of guys like this, B.A., is that ask other guards around the league what it's like to introduce your offensive game to a guy like Drew Holiday. They will tell you he's one of the best perimeter defenders that you're going to find. Now here's Garland. 12 points for him. That one's wide left. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Lopez passes to Ingles. Garland against Holiday. Offensive rebound. Lopez finds Holiday. And another shot. Mobley with the block. Levert with the ball. And Connaughton picks him up defensively. Pass to Garland. Back to Okoro. Now Mobley. Defended by Portis. Here's Levert. Good on the 13-footer. Levert's got his first bucket in this one. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Right side Ingles. Pass to Holiday. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. That one's on Darius Garland. Appreciate Drew Holiday getting shifty there on the inside to draw the contact. And he drops a first. Love is checked in for the Cavs. Mitchell comes in for a Coro. Both from the stripe. The Cavaliers have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Mobley with it. Back to Garland. Pass to Mitchell. The three is up. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got four assists in the game. Now Ingles. Well, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Here's Holiday. He can't get that one to fall. Love with the defensive effort. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. <laughs> the burst and power of Mitchell on full display. This guy is incredible. Milwaukee with the ball. Following the score by Cleveland. Portis for three. Another shot. And the layup good by Lopez. Lopez has got four points in the quarter. The hard work on the offensive glass. You can see the coaching staff rise up and clap for that effort. Love a screen on Holiday. Poke loose. Lopez with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Lopez against Garland. And they're on the run. Back to Love. Pass to Mobley. Got it. Good job in the low post. Mobley's got six. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half. Getting away from taking a bunch of threes. And the Bucks call time here.
Matthews, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Carter comes in for Drew Holiday. A minute 53 left in the third quarter of the game. Lopez, the screen on the vert. Carter, the pass to Lopez. Here's Matthews. Hits the three-pointer. Matthews got his first three points of the game. Fundamental play there from Lopez spotting the open man and then sending him the ball. Carter against Garland. Mobley outside. Pass to Levert. Five on the clock. Milwaukee with the rebound. Lopez has got seven rebounds in the game. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Connaughton left side. And here's Carter. From deep. Mitchell grabs a miss. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level. And his tonight has been high. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Shoots over Connaughton. And there's Mitchell on the assist by Garland. Garland's got assist number five here tonight. And sometimes it looks like for Garland, the game comes a bit easy, whether making plays for himself or others. And here's Connaughton for three. They get it again. Here's Portis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the first one at the line is good. And if there's one drawback to Bobby Portis in his game is that emotionally you just want him to box that in at times. But that passion, man, sometimes it'll really get your teammates going. Free throws good from Portis. Cleveland has gone two of six from downtown here in the second half. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's a screen by Love. Mitchell with the ball. And Lopez picks him up. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. That one's off. And he's good on the second. Milwaukee in the lead. Carter, high post. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Matthews. Three-pointer. Knocks it down from distance. And the Bucks lead by eight. And so it's Milwaukee. 
finishing the quarter with an eight-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We'll be right back with you shortly. All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. And the Bucks shooting the ball at 48% so far. Karis LeVert is out there with Mitchell. Then it's Jared Allen. Then there's Okoro. And it's Osman in at the four. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Knocks it loose. Mitchell with the ball. Portis picks him up. Pass to Osman. Back to Mitchell. Here's Osman. LeVert with the ball. Just five to shoot. Allen with a screen on Carter. From deep, Mitchell knocks down the long J. Mitchell's got 14 points now in the second half. He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. Outside Carter. Pass to Lopez. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Now we've seen Lopez be more and more assertive in looking for his shot, which in turn draws the defense's attention to him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. off on the first he hits the second from the line just remarkable as the game has evolved so has Brooke Lopez. You have that reliable three-point shooting ability that has become such a weapon of his. Now here's Mitchell. Kept alive. On an Akupo with the block. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Now here's Holiday. He's covered closely. Fast break, Cleveland. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Going beyond mere stats, Mitchell breathes life into this offense. His energy lifts everyone around him. And Grant Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45. Not one we see a lot of in the NBA. That's true, B.A., but Donovan's got a good reason to wear it. Paying homage to Michael Jordan. Mitchell said growing up, everyone always took 23, so he went to MJ's return number, 45. That free throw is good for Mitchell. Both free throws good for Mitchell. Yeah, sometimes in a game you settle a little bit before settling in, and right now I think he's a big factor in how they're getting to the line. They set a pick. Puts it up from 12, and here's Connaughton for three. Mitchell grabs a miss. There's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Levert finds Allen. Outside Mitchell. Launches it. 
Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Well, Milwaukee's shooting about 47%. A nice number. That one goes. Count it. Anadokounmpo has got 38 points. The D can't let Giannis get that deep and establish that kind of position and think that he's going to miss something that close. Pass to Allen. And here's Mitchell. Over Holiday. Back to Allen. Mitchell against Holiday. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Mitchell's got seven now in this quarter. Intelligent decision by Mitchell, using the pick and roll to break up the defense and get open. Pass to Bochamp from the arc. Gets the three to fall. And I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor, and they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Connaughton against Levert. Over Connaughton. Levert, that's good. Yeah, that's inexcusable. I mean, the defense must push Levert farther away from the basket than that. Anadokounmpo outside. Lopez, the screen. Anadokounmpo can't connect. That's a look he couldn't pass up. He just couldn't get it to go. Mitchell against Holiday. Outside Mitchell. Here's Osman. And stolen by Connaughton. Pass to Bochamp. To the paint. Here's Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the dunk. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Here's Okoro. Mitchell with the ball. Fires the three. And the three-pointer goes. Mitchell's got 39. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. And they double up on it at Kumpo. And here's Connaughton for three. Sends it home from three-point land. Oh, you gotta love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Now here's Mitchell. From 15 feet away, the rebound by Allen. Allen's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Levert with the ball. And Connaughton picks him up defensively. Okoro on the wing. It's Levert on the wing. Covered by Connaughton. The three ball. The shot by Levert. No good. Milwaukee has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Great to see Atentacubo going strong inside. At times, the D has no choice but to foul him. Shooting two. good on the free throw and the Cavaliers making a change here Mobley's checked in and Milwaukee with a change here too Allen's checked in Get either to fall for Cleveland. They've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Levert passes to Allen. Now here's Mitchell. He's covered by Holiday. And it's Mitchell that time on the assist from Allen. 
Mitchell's got 42 in the game. Hey, he's doing everything he can to keep them afloat. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Boy, clanks that one off the back iron and it falls. Anadokounmpo has got 42 in the game. Now here's Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Holiday. Here's Mitchell. And Mitchell with the slam. And a six foot three, Mitchell gets high up there for those slams. I love that he didn't settle for the layup on that play. Now here's Holiday. Here's Anna Kumpo. Uses the glass on the layup. Anna Kumpo has got 44. He is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. On the wing, Mitchell, covered by Lopez. And it's Mitchell, the miss. The Bucks have gone six for nine here in the fourth quarter. And they double up Anna Kumpo. Allen, the pass to Anna Kumpo. Outside Holiday. Lopez, the screen on Levert. Pass to Lopez. Over to the left wing. Takes a three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen on the wing. Allen defending. Back to Allen. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Here's Holiday. That's a tough walk back to the showers. I'm pretty sure he'd like to have a couple of those plays back. Yeah, too bad he fouled out. But this team does have some depth at his position. And here's Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Over Mitchell. Off the left rim and out. Cleveland has gone three of six from downtown so far on the fourth. Love passes to Levert. Outside Mitchell. There's the three. Connects again from distance. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. Allen, the pass to Anadokounmpo. Allen against Levert. Here's Ana de Kumpo. The shot that time not on target. Good D by Mobley. Outside Love. Pass to Mitchell. To tie it up. No good on the shot. Milwaukee in the lead. Here's Allen to the wing on the left. Ana de Kumpo, left side. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Kevin Love. Well, Giannis is one of those guys. You look at the end of the season, he's going to be up there in free throw attempts per game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Makes a first. Garland's checked in for Levert. The Bucks also with a sub. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Over that last break, guys, I got a chance to hear what Mike Budenholzer said to the team. He told them, quote, play as if it's 0-0. We want that type of energy and focus. We might be winning, but this game is not over yet. It's a clear message, guys. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie.
And he makes the first, but misses the second. Building the lead to two possessions, but they have to hope the miss doesn't cost them. Pass to Okoro. Mobley on a screen. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And Okoro, he plays determined, but he also plays very physical, so he's going to draw fouls from anywhere. First one falls for him. He does not get the second one. Milwaukee has got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Here's Allen. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo has got assist number eight now on the night. Garland with the ball. Outside Mitchell. Double team on Mitchell. Back to Garland. Let's go with a three. No good that time. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. On the wing, Holiday. This one for three. And they get it back. Here's Portis. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Love against Holiday. And Mitchell with the slam. Proving to be a true leader in these spots. Mitchell embraces the chance to sink these important baskets. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. Lopez, he's checked in for Cleveland. Holiday against Garland. Lana Kumpo outside. And he drops it in from the low post. Lana Kumpo's got 47 points. Giannis Kumpo is a star in this league. And more and more, the team trusts him in those moments. Okay. Better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. He hits the first one, and that trims the lead to six. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Diakite's checked in. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And those were big shots. At this point in the game, you can't afford to leave any points at the line. Kupo finds Portis. Back to Anna Kupo. 
Outside Holiday fires from deep. Cavaliers with a rebound. Now Mitchell. Great D that time from Ana de Kumpo. Milwaukee shooting about 48% from the floor. Pretty good. And Giannis throws it down. Well, him dominating the offensive end is what accounts for this lead. Just a very difficult guy to stop once he gets going. Cleveland calls timeout. They trail by seven. There's 48 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. He's checked in for Diakite. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Seven point differential. Mobley against Honor Kumpo. Pass to Allen. Honor Kumpo outside. Honor Kumpo is doubled. And Allen gets it to go. Showing us that killer instinct right now. No letting the foot off the gas for them. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game, but. Once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. And another miss by Cleveland. Honor to Kumpo against Garland. Pass to Bochamp. On the wing, Holiday. So this one belongs to the Bucks. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Giannis, that was a lockdown defensive effort. What sets you guys apart in that regard? We just uh, have that individual pride. Like, we don't want our guy to score on us. And at the end of the day, we know that somebody else going to have our back. So we just got to go out there, try to be active, try to get past lanes, try to rebound the ball. And uh, we got uh, a guy like Brooke that is doing a great job and he's helping everybody defensively. That pride. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. We'll see you later.